Hello everyone, welcome back to more Fortnite news. Hope you guys are all doing well. Unfortunately, I was actually out late last week as was announced by Epic. An announcement for an update, that being 8.3, which should be coming relatively soon. And their announcement apparently going to bring a respawn van into the game. A huge announcement. I'm very sad I missed it at first. And definitely a big announcement in a good way for the game. Although I will say it's definitely not what we think. We still continue to see revert, revert, revert. That's all I've seen on Twitter so far from the announcements. But breaking down apparently what will be coming in 8.3. The respawn van obviously being the biggest portion of that. It's a great change, especially for competitive Fortnite. I think a lot of us actually wanted this. I think a fair majority of us think it's a great update as well. It's not what we wanted though. It's not the increased harvest speed. It's not the HP shield on kill as well, but still a move definitely in the right direction and definitely going to be a meta changer when it does come out. My only problem so far, my first thoughts come down to, we talked about last week, Cloaks, he brought up the great point. We're going to see at least two, maybe three seasons throughout the World Cup qualifiers and the final event. Event. It really comes down to during those finals if it's going to be epic wanting to actually promote season 10 the debut of that or the last days of season 9 should be the timeline for that and uh, if you know epic they're probably going to want to make it epic and actually have that be a debut of season 10 which means for the grand finals we could potentially see a brand new season brand new weapons potentially brand new mobility as we usually do for a world final event for the most money these guys will probably ever compete for so that's my first thought and uh, kind of on top of that as well you change the meta again once 8.3 drops and respawns come in for the duos at least this will change things heavily i can imagine but besides that it's still a great update especially when it comes to squads you know outside competitive play as well i think I, I love this a lot you know i have a ton of friends you guys probably do as well where a friend goes down you think the game is over you might as well back out especially if two or three go down this definitely offers a lot of opportunities out there to bring those friends back although with this respawn or with these respawn vans being in place the way they do come back of course the van it makes a large noise as well as sends out a beacon you can expect many teams out there to camp these respawns just as they do in apex legends i'm sure you guys recognize that and there's the other side of the debate right is it okay for fortnite to just start copying things that apex legends did first in my mind yes if it works it works if your player base likes it as much as the apex player base does then why not try it out yeah there's going to be backlash from apex people about that but still if it's a great feature for a competitive battle royale why not just bring it over to fortnite so all in all i think a great update i'm very curious to see how it does play out it is a great update it's not the update we wanted but it's certainly epic trying to maybe make up for that it, it's maybe so we'll see how it plays out and also very lastly as well if you guys have been paying attention to epic's twitter it's first of all a big announcement this morning and i think a great one as well that's going to be epic not pro broadcasting any of the world cup qualifiers i hope for both duos and solos this means not exposing a lot of those partners out there are solo players and and pro players or well-known people out there and exactly where they drop and so we can hopefully you know i don't know who's going to stream the event it almost seems like at this point in time, if you stream the event, do you really want to win? So I'm very curious uh, what pro players, what popular streamers will actually stream the event and take that risk. But if you actually want to qualify, you probably should not be. We've had this conversation in the past as well. Um, if Tifu did it, even if he did a two to three hour delay throughout the entire event, people would eventually find out, although the, I believe the event's only three hours long. So we could be seeing some massive delays. But even then, think about that, right? Tifu does, let's say a borderline, you know, a three hour delay. That means pretty much it might as well be a rebroadcast that does mean though by week three when solos come back or by if he does it for week two and then by week four when duos are back people will know where they're dropping still if they watch his old broadcast i hope what i said just made just made sense there it might have not but either way i'm going to be very curious to see who's going to be streaming the actual world cup qualifiers and what the viewership will be like around that because epic themselves is avoiding that now that might be for two reasons it might be to protect the players but on top of that it could be because there's so many different regions going on at one point in time they might not have the actual broadcast capabilities or actually want to broadcast all those separate individual qualifiers it might not even be possible across all the regions and very lastly tickets are now available uh, uh, scratch that Reg registration is now available for world cup as well they're not going to tell you the prices it's going to be a registration for pre-sale for the world cup tickets which which i assume are going to sell out no matter what but yes no prices as of right now i will keep you guys posted on that in the future but more importantly leave your thoughts down below what do you guys think i rambled today as per usual my mind is literally everywhere with this update coming in but it's not the update we want we have two to three seasons to go into the world cup finals a lot of meta changes probably going to happen maybe new weapons as well I, I don't know what's going on right now as always i hope you guys all enjoy my name is jake welcome back to fortnite news and hopefully see you back here sometime soon with some better updates until next time guys take care